Everyday Carry 2023 Winter Edition. Stick around. All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Three Rivers Survival. So what I'm going to do is I have a bunch of stuff that's laid out. And throughout the years, I try to change things a little bit around. Um, I go with what you know kind of thing, and I feel comfortable with the things that I'm carrying. But I do have a different plethora of stuff on this table, and we're going to get to that in a minute. I want to advise everybody that, hey, listen, this is my EDC, not your EDC. I don't carry all of these items together at all at one time, like there's three watches, four knives. I don't carry all that stuff. I just pick through my rotation. That's kind of how I do it, and I wanted to show you a little bit of that. If it helps you, that's great. If it's not for you, that's fine as well. All right, guys, so what I need you to do is like, subscribe, share. It really helps the algorithms. Thank you very much. There's about 90% of you that watch this channel but don't subscribe. So please hit that thumbs up button, hit that bell icon with the parentheses around it to really help support the channel. Also, check out my Patreon page. It only costs you $1 a month and you get to watch videos like this before anybody else. I'll put the links in the description box below if you're interested in any of these items. I am an Amazon affiliate. And if you purchase something from Amazon through my link, I will get like two cents on the dollar. So thank you very much. That's another way to support this channel. All right, guys, without any further ado, let's get to it. All right, guys, so as you can see, there's a whole bunch of stuff on the table. And I will say it again that I do not carry all of this stuff at one time. That would be ridiculous. But these are some of the things that I carry on a regular basis and I do rotate out. Uh, this does go in conjunction with my uh, get home bag and that'll be a separate video so stay tuned for that all right let's work from this side to the table this side no no big no big deal these are debt cords what i like about debt cords glasses i have two sets of these at that they are ANSI rated which means they are uh, shock resistant or should be uh, projectile resistant all right so it won't blow up in your face uh, should something get hit it is a little bit of eye protection so I like that because it's all in one piece I get sun protection eye protection and they are ANSI rated and also comes with a really cool bag all right when it comes to wallets I finally did upgrade I do have the 511 um, multi-cam version and I'll put the links in the description below I'm not going to show the inside of this because it has all my information and data uh, I did have to upgrade because my old wallet finally fell apart. Uh, I was using, uh, if, you, if you're interested in what I was using, just go back to the other videos and I'll show you what I had. This was something interesting I was rocking for a while. This is the 511 card. Um, and this was specifically designed for all your cards. But what I liked about it was that it was neat, it was compact, and it allowed to have a bunch of tools. I'll just take my business cards out of there for now. And on both of these, these are made out of stainless steel. They have a bunch of tools such as a wire stripper, a um, screwdriver, it does have a bottle opener, has a, a different type of wrench right here. I don't know if you can see that. All right, couple different tools, does have that little quarter inch bit. And on the inside, these were cut out specifically for cards. All right, so if you can see the, these little these little cutouts right here. So if you had a, a camera or something like that, or maybe something for your phone, you can put it in there and then sandwich it together. And it comes with two rubber bands. The rubber bands are very thick and they work very well. I'm not hating it. It just wasn't exactly for me. In my opinion, if you have only cards, in other words, your driver's license, ID cards, credit cards, that kind of thing. I think that works great. However, that's not what I carry inside this wallet. There was no place to carry cash unless I carried it on the outside of this uh, uh, metal card device. So for me, it works better just to have a regular bifold wallet. All right. So I went with the new 511. As far as watches go, this is probably my go-to. This is the Traverse, the Suunto Traverse. You've seen this in many, many videos. I love this watch, GPS, barometer, altimeter, uh, steps. It does everything. It it's basically a hunting watch, uh, tactical watch. It does do moon phases and everything else. This is a computer on your wrist, which I like a lot. However, uh, you do have to charge it. It usually gives me about a week and a half of charge, and then I have to charge it. it has two little alligator clips here, and it plugs into a USB. Really excellent watch. Um, I started getting into more classical watches, so 
the Invicta series. I'm a big fan of Invicta series. And if you guys are interested in Invicta watches, me doing a review, please put that in the comments below because I will do that for you if you like. I forget which one this is, um, but this is a really nice watch. And I do like the metal bracelet style. This was my grandfather's. This is a fossil watch very similar in type and size and he passed away you know god bless him he was uh 83 years old so you know lived a really really good life and this was a gift from my mother to him and when he passed away i was able to get this watch fix it up clean it and put new batteries in it so i do rock this watch from time to time uh the phone i'm not going to go too crazy it is an iphone 10 Real simple, everybody needs one, has one, that kind of thing. Um, let's talk a little bit about the knives that I have on this table. Now you guys know that Three River blades, I have my blades over here. I only make fixed blades knives and we'll get to that in a second. But for everyday pocket knives, I'm a big fan of a four inch or more. I have my own reasons for that. I think that a utility blade should be good for regular utility work, but also if you needed to or had to use it in a survival situation, you should have something with a little more length. Uh, also, you can use it for self-defense, but it depends on you know how you feel about that. For me personally, I like a very thick Scout knife. This happens to be the Formax Scout made by um, Cold Steel. This is OS A8, I'm sorry, OS 10, OS 10 made in Taiwan. Really, really nice large fixed blade. Another one that I like to rock is the Voyager. Again, this is in Tonto Point. Another OS 10 cold steel. Very, very large blade. I don't worry about the oohs and ahs if it comes out of my pocket. If someone's asking me for a cutting blade, I probably know them and they're my friend. So I don't worry about it. If anything, I get a look of like, God damn, where'd you get that? I want one, okay? Uh, and the blade that I carry most is my Recon 1, again, from Cold Steel. This happens to be an S35VN. Uh, it is really, really nice G10 coating. It has that triad lock. I mean, this thing is solid. It is not a fast opener, but it does have a solid lock. Also, be very careful about the tip because if you can see right there, I did have a little of chipping and glinting because I was doing stuff that I shouldn't do with my pocket knives, but that's why we do it. And again, I'll put all the links down below. These are really, really nice sturdy pocket knives again this scout is is a beast to carry but it always makes me feel good when i carry it all right uh bench made this is more of a self-defense item all right this is the uh socp all right i don't even know greg thompson all right this is very very sharp dagger-esque um letter opener okay the way i wear this is the inside of my inside pocket i feel that if it is a last resort if somebody was robbing me or trying to hurt me i could easily slip on the inside of my pocket and have something to defend myself with uh, i don't recommend carrying knives or daggers if you are not familiar with how to use them i don't use this for anything else but self-protection so this blade is pristine again i haven't had to stab somebody uh, in quite some time, so that should be razor sharp, okay? Uh, as far as multi-tool goes, I'm still rocking this old school. Uh, this is the Sidekick. I think you can still get these. What I like about the Sidekick is it's a minimalist, uh, lightweight, stainless steel. It does have spring clips, and it has kind of all the things that I need in a very, very small package. I know they make smaller ones, but Leatherman has always been a uh, good friend of mine. When I go to the field, or if I know I'm going somewhere heavy, uh, I will carry something a little bit more robust, such as hunting or camping. Um, this is basically for an EDC for urban environments. It's very, very small. And again, I don't mind lending it out if somebody needs a hand. Another multi-tool is my little dad um, plastic case screwdriver bit case. This was from my son for birthday and uh, really, really cool. It does have a little uh, piece on the end so you can take the bits and put them in there and it also has a measuring tape and a lot of people don't really think about a measuring tape as an EDC item but as I get older and can't see as well I think that uh, EDC uh, measuring tape and of course if your son gave you this you rock it no matter what all right that's what you do because you're a father uh, as far as uh, as far as smoking implements again this is my SOE cigar case 
really, really nice design. You put at least eight cigars in here. It does have Velcro on this side, this side. It does have Velcro on the front and on the back. I put my name tape on there because people like to borrow this and not give it back. So I make sure that I have it, but really nice. And then what I did with my lighter, this is my old Marine Corps Zippo lighter. I put an insert and now this insert is a rock star okay so this insert does take the uh, butane but it is a let me see there you go injected butane so it has a co2 canister or however you want to call it i don't know the particular name but uh if you are a cigar smoker you need something with some flame and some fire that seems to do very well and of course my old stainless steel cigar cutter that works really well all right guys as far as flashlights go E-TAC, this is my tactician. This is the E2 tactician, super light, super bright. I still rock this from time to time. I This is like a pocket favorite. What's really cool about this, you could slip your hand inside here. It sticks out of your pocket just the way I want it, where it has the clip on the outside and it does have bezel ring up. This is not a self-defense item. This is something where I need to see, or if I'm rocking my sidearm, I need to make sure that I can see and be hands-free. So that works really well. Big fan of this. They are not cheap. I have two of them and I use them on the reg. All right, this is the Warrior 2 Mini. The Warrior 2 Mini is made from Olight. This does have a smaller bezel ring on it, as you can see. And again, this is more of a hands free item. So if you are using this to look and to search, and then something happens where you need to drop your flashlight to maybe load your magazines and then bring it back up, it has this little finger ring that comes with it. Uh, o, o light is has been very good to me as far as fixed blades go you guys know that three river blades it is my company that's what i do uh, i carry my own fixed blade knives again i'm not talking about the folders because i don't make those this is the v2 knife it was designed by jimmy void jimmy void sit down talk and truth we did a collaborative and i like it. it's a very small utility blade it has a three inch um three inch blade it has some jimping on the top and a three and a half inch handle which is very nice very comfortable very ergonomic these are i believe 5160 or carbon steel so you will have to take care of them uh, this has a hollow grind on it and a very easy sharpening notch as far as the carry configurations this one is mine because i like the metal clip if you wanted a metal clip you can also email me i will do that for you no problem at all i will make sure you get what you like the basic configuration for the v2s are going to look like this this is a neck carry and again you get your choice of cord wrap that you like this happens to be gun blued because it is carbon steel i want you to understand that you will have to take care of it a little bit of oil is not going to hurt you and these come razor razor sharp i do have these in stock it will come with a black kydex sheath these holes are designed for a tech lock all right so if you want to add a large tech lock to it you can you can carry it in a vertical position or horizontal the way I carry mine is with this clip right here. This is a very easy clip to get on and off my pants belt. And this is the one that I carry every day. I like, uh, oh, I like tan, so that's why I have a tan wrap on there. And again, very, very nice ergos. It's a very small utility blade. I don't like neck carry. Again, I didn't design the knife, I just make them. But uh, if you don't like neck carry, you can wear it around your belt. This configuration I have here was designed for horizontal carry. All right, I carry it every day. It's really, really nice and comfortable. And again, I could take this off and flip it around or get a tech lock if I wanted to. All right, so that's that. All right, when it goes to firearm, all right, very simple. This is my Glock 26. Now I am getting a light for this. I want to do a light configuration. My Glock 26 I've had for a very, very long time. If you check back all my videos, I've carried many, many firearms and I always revert back to this. It is bulky, it is chunky, but for the amount of ammunition that you can put through this and the guarantee that it will go boom every single time, I think it's, uh, it's one of the best bang for your buck. If you are a guy that likes the slimline 
there are Glock 43s, 43Xs. I know Six Hour just came out with the macro uh, and I am going to make holsters for those. When it comes to holsters, I am a Kydex holster maker. So go to 3riverkydex.com. I will make you one. Uh, also, inside the waistband, outside the waistband, tension nut, all that stuff. Uh, I can also make you anything with uh, uh, QLS system. So if you wanted a, a hybrid QLS or something like that, I could also make that as well. Just go to Three River Kydex and put all that information in the form sheet and I'll make sure you get it. Also, I also make Kydex pouches. So if you're interested in a Kydex pouch, I can make them in this configuration where we have the two slot, the two belt loops on one side, or if it's just a belt clip inside the waistband, I could do that as well. So just something to think about if you guys are interested in that. As far as ammunition goes, Spear Girl Dot Plus Piece. I typically carry a um, one extra magazine. This is the Glock 19 magazine with the X grip. And this is the Glock 17 Plus 2. So these two are my backup spare magazines. And it depends on how I want to carry it. Sometimes I just throw it in a pocket and sometimes I carry it in this configuration. Again, the good thing about the Glock 26, not only does it take its magazine for the 26, but it will also work with a Glock 19 magazine. And of course, any Glock 17 or larger, it will also handle that. So that's kind of why I like this gun. It is very useful to me for what I need it for. And again, if I ever have to get into a shooting situation, I don't want to fumble around with a tiny little gun. I think that's a misconception. People tend to carry really, really small guns and then they're great to carry because they're small, but then when they go to shoot them, they can't hit the side of a barn with a John Deere. So what I like to do is have a gun that I know that fits my hand perfectly that I can hit every single time. And yes, it's, it's kind of inconvenient to carry a larger gun. I get it, but you know, it should be comforting, not comfortable. All right. So I know that I have much, much, I, I know that I have quite a bit of firepower if I need it. And I always carry spare magazine, so it's not a big deal for me. Again, the only thing I'm going to do is attach the light to this. So now it's a 24 hour gun. Sometimes I like to carry in a shoulder holster. This is the Galco leather. Let's see what number this is. This is the 224F149WC. All right, so it's a very well done um, Galco classic type style. All right, my, my Glock 26 fits in there really, really nice. All right, no problems, no issues. It's not coming out. Um, I wore this quite a few times underneath my coat. And in winter carry, I think it's important to understand that um, you, you, it's really difficult to go inside the waistband or maybe your three o'clock position when you're sitting down in a vehicle and you have three or four layers of coat or clothing on. So a shoulder holster in that aspect, in that environment kind of works. Also, what's really nice about a shoulder holster is that if you're getting to your location, such as work or somewhere that you need to hang this up, you can just hang it up. You can take this off hang it up inside your locker or your safe and then when you're ready just take it out there's no messing around with other holsters i always carry a couple spare magazines here again these are the glock 26s but it doesn't make a difference if i need to extend my range i just put two 17s in here or two glock 19s and i will have a full load for combat i don't have to worry about it these glock 26 mags only hold 10 and i know in this day and age and standard that's that's almost a you know that's that's so weak right now but again if you're going to carry this whole rig around your your neck and your shoulders you don't want to be too heavy because then you start to run into pain issues all right but a shoulder holster in my opinion is not obsolete it just depends on how much you trained with it and how comfortable you are with instead of going straight to your appendix or, you know a seated position this is fantastic for a seated positions and let's face it guys we spend most of our lives sitting down or laying down all right let's just be honest unless you have a different type of job okay <laughs> All right, guys, so let's go back up top and I'll finish. All right, guys, I hope you appreciate that presentation. That is my EDC 
for 2023. Uh, like I said, it is a winter edition, so it is now January, and I did carry most of this stuff throughout 2022. And things will change, all right? The guns may change, the knives may change, all that stuff. So to each his own, you know, how you want to carry it, what you want to carry, that's all good to go. I just wanted to give you an idea. And if I helped you, please put the comments down below. Also, please, again, like, subscribe, share, put some comments down below. It really helps the algorithms. Go to threeriverblades.com if you're interested in an awesome custom-made knife or go to Three River Kydex if you need a Kydex holster for your carry or CCW piece. And remember to go to Amazon and all the links down below it really helps the channel. And also, uh, I will put the links to all my other channels and also get on that mailing list, all right? The mailing list, you can go to Three River Blades or Three River Kydex go all the way down to the bottom first name last name and your email address double opt-in so you'll get an email with a confirmation and uh, get on that mailing list that's the only place i send discount codes for my blades all right guys thank you very much and as always please stay safe